Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to get the best Game Boy and Game Boy Color emulator for your R4 card. So this will work on DS, DSi, 3DS or 2DS and it's called Game Yob. But all you will need is an R4 card, so go ahead, take out your SD card, go and connect this to your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay guys, so on your computer, once your R4 card is connected, you will need to go to this website. I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's just the NDS scene beta, and here is the emulator called GameYob. So I think I did a video on a similar emulator called Lameboy, and it just wasn't as good. This one is a lot better, and um, it was released in 2018. So if you guys want to get it, just scroll all the way down, and we're looking for the download links right here. So we've got 3DS, DSi, and this is the normal DS version, which you can run off your R4 4 card so I'm going to be using this one in this video so I'm just going to click it version 0.5.2 and it's just going to begin downloading so once that has finished downloading go to your downloads folder and find the zip file now you also need the games so right here I've got Ghostbusters for the Game Boy and then I've got um, X-Men Wolverine for the Game Boy Color so I will be testing out both of these just to prove they both work so let's just get the zip file right click and select extract here we then want to right click again create a new folder and just call it ROMs folder drag and drop your Game Boy and Game Boy Color ROMs inside of the ROMs folder and then we can just copy across these two files so the ROMs folder and the actual NDS file itself onto the root of our R4 card so just drag and drop them across just give them a couple of seconds to copy across and then that is literally it for the PC we've now got the emulator and the ROMs over on our R4 so let's go back onto our DS and I will show you guys some gameplay Okay, so back off your computer, let's just put our SD card back into our R4 and then we can just put our R4 into our DS. I will be using my 3DS for this, but you can do this on pretty much any DS out there. Okay, so once we're on the DS, let's just go and launch up my R4. Now let's just find it on here, here it is. Um, it's got a Game Boy Color for the icon and it should just be gameyob.nds. So just press on A to launch that up. So on this home screen what we need to do is go to the ROMs folder and press on A. Here you will have your game. So here's my Game Boy game and here's my Game Boy Color. Let's try Game Boy Color first. So just press A on it to launch it up. And it's going to start like this. So it's going to have like the original Game Boy Color screen. That's why it's really small. So what we can do actually to change this is just press R to bring up the menu. And now what we can do is change loads of stuff. So this is the main page. This is where you can exit, reset, save, all that kind of stuff. Um, we're going to use R again for settings because we need to change the scaling so what we're going to do is just change this to full and then um, there's a few more options on here there's GB modes, debug um, that's pretty much pointless to be honest so we're just going to press B just go back and as you can see it's going to upscale the screen so this game's um, played perfectly fine this is a lot better than the last emulator I did um, it has full working sound as well I have been playing it a bit and um, I didn't really encounter any like FPS issues or anything like that so maybe I'll just get into a game right now and just show you some gameplay let's just turn up the sound a bit and start game so there you go here's some just quick gameplay you can see that it loads pretty much fine no real like lagging or anything like that And then if you want to exit, you press R again, and you can actually go up to exit and just press A. So now we can try out our Ghostbusters game for the original Game Boy. As you can see, it keeps the same scaling for each game. And then we can just press start on this. And um, yeah, this emulator is actually really good. It's so much better than the last one, which was Lame Boy, I believe. I believe it was called Lame Boy. But yeah, this one's cool. It was made in 2018, and there's pretty cool features. There is also a 3DS version that you can install. And once you're done, you can literally just go to exit. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.